So today we're talking about the hip slung pouch and one of the things you need to know about the hip slung pouch is you want it to rest across your thigh at a height that's comfortable for you to reach into and access the pouch, right? But you also want to make sure that when you're dealing with it, um, it's not catching as you move back and forth. So finding an edge profile that lays flat is good, but depending on what you're putting in the design, you may need to use a thicker, sturdier leather to allow for that pouch. And then there are a couple of ways to actually do the seam lines and contours of your pouch. So depending on which design you go for, you'll get a totally different output. So this is the master template for the components of the pouch, but there are some variances in terms of design in that um, the red here has one continuous strip that goes all the way around the perimeter which is highlighted by the green pouch, right? The black is one continuous strip. If you look at the blue pouch, the, the back, the top front, and the bottom front are all one continuous piece. And this edge seam on the perimeter is more of an elliptical shape that allows things to flow smoothly and settle in the bottom, but requires one larger continuous piece of leather. So you can get away with smaller pieces of leather for the red and green style pouches and then use a different long piece for the perimeter. Or you can start out with a very large piece of uniform continuous leather and have small pieces for your edging. And oftentimes for the edging, I will use a different color of leather to accentuate the style that it was done as seen by the pink pouch, which if you look it has a continuous strip of black patent leather around the bottom and the edge, but that means that when the top front and the bottom front and the back were all combined, it made this sort of L shape for the initial design. And so that means that there's almost a handedness to the design where <clears throat> if you were to wear this pouch, you would want this folded over seam, the smooth continuous seam, to be on the front of the thigh. So that would make this a left leg pouch. And so the nice part about the red, green, and blue is they could fit comfortably on the right or the left leg, but the pink pouch really has a handedness to it and you would want it to go on your left side or your right side based on how this seam approaches your gait when you're walking forward. So you wanna think about all those things when you design your pouch, but when you're attaching it, you do wanna think about how you're gonna get the top corners to attach firmly to your thigh. And that's usually with two hooks or a curved strap and a bottom section of the pouch to attach to your thigh. And so this top sweep goes from thigh to hip and that's the hip slung part of the pouch. These are common you see in gunslinger videos or old time Western movies and oftentimes in more of the modern action movies. So all you need to know is you're attaching the hip slung part, top two corners, and the bottom part to your thigh. So top two corners go to your hip and the bottom is for your thigh and that's gonna hold your pouch at the height that you want. Um, you can put in a second strap that's just for style, it's not necessary. So the pattern itself is pretty simple. It is just a block square with the standard width perimeter and then your front section. Now know whatever section you allocate for the folding of your top, right? If your pouch is gonna fold in a fashion like this where you have a height, this top section is going to define your perimeter that goes around. So whatever you say this is, if this top section is two inches, your perimeter is going to be two inches. If your top section is a half inch, your perimeter is going to be a half inch. But just know you lose about a half an inch of material wherever you stitch these seams on the edges, okay? Just because you get about an eighth inch of sacrificial leather and then another eighth inch of the seam itself. And when you sew those together, it creates another quarter inch of buckle total. 
So eighth plus eighth plus one quarter means you lose a half inch of your total seam line so that you won't have the same volume you had anticipated depending on the thickness of your leather, okay? So what do we got for dimensions? This is about 13 and a half inches long from bottom of the pouch to the very tip, okay? And then the pouch backer is six and a half inches long by five and a half inches wide. The top section is an inch and a half. You can get away with two inches. You can also do inch and three quarter. They all work. And that's really everything you need to know, but the depth of the front is about two inches before this radius curve starts to form. And then I always do the strap mount one inch solid. So if you're trying to add strapping to the back of your material, like the blue one, you can get away with stitching or riveting strips, one, two, three, right? and then doing that in sections. Or for your hip slung element, you can just have this one, two, three, and then a full seam. It's really an aesthetic choice. And then you can see another version of it done with the pink, where this, is, this bottom double strap is one continuous section, and then a secondary part of the hip slung element is incorporated into the folding tab, which is the top of the pouch. So those are all the things you can think about for design elements. But one thing you want to consider is what aesthetic am I looking for? How thick a leather do I want? Because this um, pink leather is a very thin upholstery leather. And so for the strap itself, I found the blue, which is also a thin upholstery level uh, leather, is very thin and floppy. And I wanted it to have a little more body. So I doubled up the stitching so that it was easier to pull it through. Now, the red is a thicker leather, so it's not as hard, but it's a little, little trickier than the green to sleeve through that seam line and then push onto the posts, as where the green is a thicker hide and it's very easy to sleeve it through and push it down on the post. So you have to determine how thick you want your, your pouch to be, how stiff you want your pouch to be, and then which mechanism you're going to use to close your pouch, whether it's the buckle or the post or some other element. So that's everything you need to know about pouches. And there are two templates. I prefer stitching the seam. It's just smoother to flow the buckles in, but we'll talk about wearing it in a minute.